Hi, right, in this video, we're gonna go a little bit further using our PicoScope. So in the first video, we talked about general setup, um, some of the components, leads, how to get basic voltage readings. And so in this video, we're gonna do a little bit more and look at some more applicable automotive testing. And so we're gonna use this ATEC board here to look at a throttle position sensor and look at the volt drop of a potentiometer. So this ATEC board is a 95 Mercury Cougar, basically laid out to where you can look at different sensor inputs, the PCM is active, it's got a DLC right here. And so I've been able to look at my TPS input from that. So we can verify, I've got my key on, and you can see that the voltage reading changes. We're gonna be working with the PicoScope software. I've got my two channel scope here and just a basic set of leads. And so we're gonna use the acupuncture set to back probe my signal wire, and a reference at the TPS. To get set up with this test, I'm gonna to go to my TPS sensor right here. The TPS typically has three wires. If we're talking about a newer, really more current drive-by wire system, I'm gonna see a lot more wires. Um, but my typical drive-by wire system has got two potentiometers that are used in tandem, generally with some sort of corresponding or inverted signal um, between the A and the B potentiometers. This particular one is much more simple. So I've got three wires. We know that one of those is a five volt reference. One of those is a signal return. And then one of them is a ground reference. And so typically I see my signal in the center, but I can begin to work through here and look at my scope and see where I'm at. So with the two outer wires connected, I'm getting five volts, just about five volts. And so I'm gonna move my red lead down to the center, very gently feeling for the metal of the terminal. I want to be really cautious about how far I push these. It's easy to distort the plastic of a connector. So we're going to move on over to our PicoScope software. I've gotten out of the auto range function and selected five volts. We've also moved the time scale up to 200 milliseconds per division. We could go one step further, take that to 500. And so now I can see the trace as it works across the screen. Right now we're reading about one volt and that mirrors pretty close to what I see on my scan tool. So I see about 0.98 volts. And if I hold that there and we go ahead and give a throttle input, see 0.45 or 4.75 and a return to 0.98. So I've come back to the PicoScope software I've stopped my screen on one sweep, and so then we can do a little bit of work here to better look at just the segment of the sweep. So this is going from 0% or idle up to wide open throttle and then going back down. And so I zoom in, I get a little bit better picture. Um, if you look really close, there's quite a bit of noise there. And so one of the things that I can do to try and rectify that. Sometimes I may see that from connections, um, but let's go ahead and take the vertical resolution to 16 bits, go back and look, and now we get a little bit better picture. When I do this test, typically what I'm looking for is to see that the variable resistor inside the potentiometer has a clean path of resistance and voltage drop as it climbs or as it moves through um, its rotation. So going from the idle position on up to wide open throttle. Sometimes what will happen is that there will be a dead spot where maybe is typical for cruising, you know, a place where that TPS lives a lot of its life and the variable resistor becomes worn through contact. And it generally will result in a small dip or where that resistor cuts out. And that can cause all sorts of drivability problems, steady state kind of hesitations, and so that's really why we would do this test. Um, for us here in education, this is a great test just to get acquainted with making some connections on a system where we've got some pretty defined outcomes and expectations. Another thing that is really useful within this PicoScope software is the automotive menu. And so if I wasn't sure about what I wanted to find or what I, how I would go about testing something, I can generally come here and they've got a lot of sensors really spelled out well. And so I could go to throttle potentiometer here. It does a few things for me. One is it loads a sample 
waveform so I can kind of see what I expect. And then I get a web page here that tells me the connections that I need to make, shows me that example one more time, and then gives me some notes about what I should look for, what's an example of good operation, maybe what's an example of bad operation. As we talked about with our sweep, the blind spots or dropouts with a signal um, is typically what we look for if we we're trying to audit a TPS and determine whether it was good or bad. That's a quick rundown on how to do a basic test of a TPS with the PicoScope. Again, really we're just focusing on getting a good connection, utilizing the equipment, and being able to scale the software and see a waveform, you know, a result that matches our expectations. The more that we get acquainted with scopes and we're able to verify things that we already know, as long as we know what good is, that's going to help us understand what bad looks like in the future.